Hey, what's going on, beautiful people? It's your boy Ed Wesley from Aka Nation TV, the one place on YouTube where we actually adopt some of the connections despite our differences. And welcome to my channel. I am going to continue to talk about this Will Smith situation as things unfold. I was going to do a live kind of discussion to kind of, not kind of, but to get you guys' point of view on things. I am still going to do that. It's either going to be really, really late or tomorrow early afternoon. I'm not sure. It was supposed to be tonight, but things have shifted and changed. Um, I am going to be going out uh, to have dinner with a friend. Devin Norwood lives here now. So for those of you that have followed me for for a long time, you know who Devin is. So he now lives in Atlanta. We're going to get something to eat. Outside of that, I just, you know, <sighs> things are just unfolding every day. And I know people want us to get over this and to stop talking about it. But that is not easy to do. Um, especially if you are in Hollywood or if you care about the goings on in Hollywood, you're not just going to forget about this. This has never happened on an Oscar stage and this has never happened with high profile celebrities like Chris Rock and Will Smith and Jada Pinkett. It's another entanglement. Okay. We just can't seem to get past it people. But look, what Will Smith did is insanely huge to the point that regular people that don't work in Hollywood are like, he defended black women, he defended his wife, get over it, it's just a slap. And then the people that actually work in the field, that live and breathe Hollywood uh, royalty in life, are like, hell no, this is not going to stand, this is not cool, no way, Jose. And then the comedians are off on the side like, hey, so we get to get slapped every time somebody, every time we say something wrong. There are so many moving parts to this, and I really feel like this is going to change, um, you know, the entertainment climate and our culture moving forward for comedians, for the Academy, for all award shows, and for celebrities as a whole. Because celebrities are picked apart all of the time at these award shows. And I'm pretty sure that there are a lot of celebrities in the audience that were like, yes, get them, yes, yes, I've been wanting to do that all day. And so that's kind of what I want to talk about during the live. I want to pick you guys' brain regarding all of those concepts because it's a lot to digest. But uh, according to Variety, Will Smith facing possible expulsion or suspension after he assaulted Chris Rock during last Sunday's Oscars telecast has instead resigned from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. The move comes as the actor is embroiled in the gravest crisis of his career and as the organization behind the Academy Awards has struggled in its attempts to deal with the fallout from the altercation in a statement, Will Smith called his actions shocking, painful, and inexcusable, and said that he will accept any additional consequences that the Academy, Academy's Board of Governors deems appropriate. The list of those I have hurt is long and includes Chris, his family, many of my dear friends and loved ones, all those in attendance and global audiences at home, Smith said. I betrayed the trust of the Academy. I deprived other nominees and winners of their opportunity to celebrate and be celebrated for the extraordinary work. I am heartbroken, as am I. And yes, wow. So before he can get expelled, before he can get suspended, he opted to resign. This is a, like, again, a lot of people that aren't in the Hollywood light don't understand the gravity of that. But, you know, SAG is still reported to be wanting to get involved or getting involved to figure out if they should revoke his SAG privileges. You know, and, and again, me speaking to the regular people, they're like, well, he's worth 300, over $300 million. He's fine. He already has his own production company, his own entertainment production company. He can do what he needs to do on his own. He doesn't need Hollywood. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> well, if it wasn't for Hollywood, his film 
which his company produced or helped produced, co-produced. I don't think they're the sole producers, but co-produced. His film produced, the company produced the film, King Richard. Without Hollywood, without the grace and blessings of Hollywood, his film would not be highly regarded and acknowledged the way that it has been. You know? So moving forward, things are going to change for him. Yes, he's rich. Yes, he probably has, you know, stock everywhere. And he's well off. He doesn't have to worry about money. Okay, cool. But having to worry about your career and figuring out what you're going to do next in a world that you're comfortable with and have been in for over 30 years is not that easy of a pill to swallow. And I just wish people would get that. Like, like I just, I, I just wish people would understand the gravity of that, you know? And, and again, kudos to Chris Rock for not pressing charges. Kudos to Chris Rock for not suing Will Smith like Jim Carrey, you know, suggested that he should for $200 million. Uh, kudos for, to Chris Rock for not fighting back and allowing that slap to grace his face, okay? Kudos for Chris Rock for not even discussing the altercation in his first show at the Wilbur Theater in Boston. My first name is Wilbur. Salute. Kudos to Chris Rock for being a grade A professional in this entire setting, you know? But again, there are so many types of conversations to have about this whole situation. Is it okay for comedians to get as personal and insulting as they do? Granted, that joke was not insulting because according to reports, Chris Rock did not even know anything about alopecia. I didn't even know anything about alopecia until the whole altercation. So I'm pretty sure people did not know, a lot of people did not know about the alopecia, okay? You know, if Jada Pinkett breathes on Tuesday, we don't know that she's breathing on Tuesday. We just, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But to find out reportedly that Chris Rock did not know about it, it's like, for what, you know? And then, you know, there's reports that, you know, Will, Will Packer said that the police were going to get involved, but Chris Rock um, decided to not have the police get involved, to not have, you know, the whole situation with Will being, you know, taken out in handcuffs and all of that. Apparently, Chris Rock said he was okay and that it was cool. Hats off. To Chris Rock, okay? When we get into this live discussion, and let me know uh, when y'all want me to have it because, you know, I don't really do live often, but I, I really want to have this discussion. There's a lot to unpack here. You know, I have made a post on my Instagram, and I believe this to be so, that if a relationship um, uh, uh, hinders the trajectory of your career or, or uh, stops the movement of your career or hinders anything regarding your professional life, that relationship is not okay. Um, if a relationship, you know, stops you from dealing with your personal uh, people like friends and, and stops you from seeing friends and hanging out with friends and your personal life changes. If a relationship changes your professional and personal life, in a dramatic way, that relationship is not for you. It is not, and this is my opinion, it is not for you. If you are a, a surgeon and you love, you know, being in practicing medicine and being in, you know, the medical field, but your relationship strips you away from something that you love, that relationship is not for you. If you are used to hanging out with your friends, you got Joey and Chloe, and y'all always hang out 24 seven, whoop de whoop de whoop. You get in a relationship and you don't see Joey or Chloe for three years, that relationship is not for you. You should be able to completely enjoy your personal life and to completely love and enjoy your professional life while in a relationship, whether it's a regular relationship or marriage. That's just how I feel about it. And I really think that ever since everything is coming out, has come out about the August Alsina, you know, affair and all of that stuff, things have just not been the same for Will Smith, you know? 
I don't think we would have gotten that book if it had not been for everything that has happened. Um, and that's just how I, that's just what I feel and how I believe. But you guys can leave your, your, your questions below. Let me know what you want me to discuss in the live. And when do you want me to do the live? We'll just say tomorrow. Saturday, when do you want me to do the live? Let me know. Put your comments below. I'm working on some big things for the network, trying to get us on TV. So I've been busy, 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 busy. But Will Smith is dear to my heart. I hold him dear to my heart and I care about this celebrity. So that's why I'm actually covering this story and giving my input on this story. I can't just talk about it and everything. I've tried. It doesn't work. <laughs> But anyways, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about this turn of events. And also, quick question. Do you think Will Smith should have his Oscar taken away? I do not believe that he should because I believe that uh, uh, Weinstein, what, what's the, Harry Weinstein, whatever the boy's name is, he still has all his, his awards, right? No one's taking his stuff away. So I don't believe that Will Smith should have his awards stripped away because his work is completely separate from the specific altercation that happened with Chris Rock. So one doesn't have anything to do with the other. But anyways, as far as him resigning and all of that, he's getting ahead of it. But I don't think this is the end. And it's not going to be the end for Will Smith if he wants to continue participating in Hollywood. Thank you guys for tuning in. Leave your comments below. Let me know when I should go live. Deuces!